happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yup, it's my lawn time, and I have my rib here right next to me. And in case y'all missed it, go back to the video before this when we was at the range and we picked this up. Here it is, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Ain't no secret no more, but let's go ahead and open it. Everybody has a lot of negative thing to say about this product, but you know, for those that don't know, this is the Springfield Prodigy DS. Here's y'all. There she go. This is 2023 version, y'all. So if y'all was having a lot of issues with your prodigy, I'm pretty sure they solved it by now. This one does have over 100 rounds, at least 150 rounds already through it. But as you can see, we have our chamber flag in. Remove the mag. Just want to show everybody all in all what comes in the box. Pretty much your tool. This is a nice little fancy case that we're probably not going to use, but we might. It comes with your document, warranty, manual, all that good stuff right here. And over here, you got the 20 round mag, your lock. This is your optic plate for your dragonfly and all your other optics that will mount to this. I believe it's only like five, maybe six different optics that this plate will take and you will have to get a RMR plate or you know whatever other plate SOR plate you're trying to run this right here is the takedown tool it's an allen wrench the big one is for your guide rod and the small one is to adjust I believe it's for your trigger okay and of course you have your lot now a mess here so let's go ahead and clean it up right quick all right everybody so here we go got the slide wide open showing clear no mags in the mag wheel this will be your 20 round mag 17 round mag and me personally me personally, I didn't know I wanted a staccato, but I just couldn't pass this up because if I tell y'all this, some of y'all gonna be mad and, you know, that's just how it's gonna be, baby, you know, because I got this for way less than what you got yours for. Anyway, as y'all saw, it performing at the range flawlessly. This is made in C. Genesio, Illinois, USA. Yes, yes, Springfield Armory. I mean, it it's very smooth. It it's very very smooth. It's. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to really say. It's it's staccato, man. Budget staccato. But you know, I still I still want to get a staccato. Just don't know exactly when that's gonna happen. You know. Anyway, let's get that part out the way. The staccato. It's real nice. I really, really like staccato. Staccato, y'all know that. You know. But 
like I said, we got this at a very reasonable price. A thousand bucks. Brand new. Warranty, everything. And it's probably about 30 more people. Or maybe less that got some too. It's like this. And this thing is flawless. I'm talking about it runs. You put what you put in it, and it'll let loose on it. Y'all saw it. We put some Winchester factory ammo on there. And, you know, it, it did what it's supposed to do. Put some long shot, low development. Man, it loved that. So... I don't really know what it is, but I know one thing for sure, everybody's been having different situations with this product. All praise to the most high. So far we have it good, you know what I mean? And others, not so good. Whether well, they, they complain about trigger, Whatever else. <laughs> this one is just fine. The difference between the staccato and this to me, staccato is optimum competition performance tool for me. Out the box. I mean, this is too, but me trying staccato's line and actually testing them out myself I believe staccato is competition I mean you can carry it but competition no doubt this different breed different breed the name it says it on on its own it's the product to me my opinion is a very good EDC especially this one performs outstanding out the box but it has a high 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 very high potential being that staccato baby brother baby sister you know cousin kinfolk whatever you want to call it this if you want a staccato and can't afford it get your prodigy and build it up. You can pretty much tweak it and get the same specs, but don't get it twisted. This is a prodigy, a staccato, a staccato. EDC, great EDC. All we need now is a holster for this. And, you know, what else we missing? Well, we know we got the hex mount. By the way, everything on this tool is a uh, factory. No mods. You can see that's the factory guide rod. Everything on here is factory. We just got it yesterday. Now, I could have did a donkey on it and, you know, had everything here. But, you know, thinking about y'all, man, we got to have content for y'all. Enough of my chit-chatter and let's get out of Since I already mentioned, we have our dragonfly plate right here. Let's go ahead and get it out. This is the first time I'm taking this out the bag. Now... I have heard other people mention, move this out the way, that the plates didn't come with the right screws. Now that's the only thing that is really concerning me now is the plate screws, but here it is, y'all. All right, I wanna go ahead and mount this, but before I do, I have to go grab. Y'all already know, guessed it. Leave it on the comments, guessed it. 
let us know. But I'm gonna go grab it right now. All right, y'all. If you guessed it, let's see if you guessed it right. Ta-da! Yep, y'all already know it. We can't function or focus without it. Got to have that blue lock type. I also believe the small Allen wrench in here in this little bag thingy majiggy is for your optic also. But let's check and make sure. Oh, guess what? It's not. These are star looking star screw look at them. I don't know if y'all can see that. They're too close. Hello. Very star looking thing. So we gotta get our tool, y'all. We gotta go grab our tool right quick. Alright everybody, we got our wheel of tool to help us out. Let's go ahead and remove this. Do a little jiggle jiggle. So, put the plate. Let's see. Factory. Okay. Looks like we could probably run the same screws through this plate. That would it look like to me. Instead of trying to use these longs. So these are very hefty. And uh, please, y'all, read y'all instructions manual. Read y'all instruction manual, y'all. Here you go, son, with some Loctite. Okay. That's real cool with some Loctite already. Looking like it's a little bit shorter than these other ones. But that's pretty cool, y'all. So, to mount the plate, looks like you just... like that. Boom. Lines on up. Man, that's like a different color. You hold up on that? Yeah, you can just set it like this. Look. There you go. Is that better? Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and test one of the screws that originally came off of it. I believe it'll work. I definitely believe it will work, y'all. So, we'll go ahead and use that. And fire up the blue Loctite. Put it on the other one. Y'all know we like to use blue Loctite on our screws. We suggest y'all use some kind of thread locker to keep you from having those unwanted malfunctions at the range or tournament or the main important thing, self-defense situation. Keep your tool clean as you can when you can, no half step. I believe that'll work, y'all. I believe that will work. Yes, yes. And so now, 
put that bin on there. Let us put up these. Well, not put them up, but put them up this way so they don't fall and we don't lose them. We are going to go ahead and install a optic. Since we have a optic plate on there. Right. I know everybody was saying a lot of negative stuff about the hex dragonfly. Truth be told, man, I just didn't want to be like everybody else. I want to be different. So we are going to try out this CT rad. All right. This is a 5 MOA with the auto shut off. All right. Let's go ahead and bust it open. If I can figure out how to bust it open. Hey, you know how to bust it open? Oh. To cut it open. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a case. Yeah, it looks like a watch case. There we go. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Ta-ta. There it is. Put that over up to the side. The tab broke on it. Here it is, y'all. This is our brand new bag. Comes with a very thick cover. Super awesome. Comes with your little tool. This is the CT Rad. Comes with the battery, which is a CR16. No, 1832 or 1632. I can't see that. It's 1632. 1632. So, here goes some more. This comes with tools and the, and the screws, y'all. Uh, let's just hope it works. And, show CT. Know what I mean? Put that there. Come with your little cleaning cloth. And the most important of it all, your manual. Okay, let's put that over there. Go ahead and look at that. I was about to yank it, and it's got a wire tied on it. Let's do this right. Here we go. There it is, y'all. There it is. Y'all see it. Yes, yes, y'all. Feels real nice. Let's lay it. Ooh, we just laying that thing on there. Looks real nice, y'all. Look at that. I just got it laying on there. It's sexy. Oh, you know what? I ain't got this thing on here all the way right. Let me fix this right quick. Why y'all didn't tell me, man? All right, everybody. So kind of like goof putting on the optic plate you want to make sure you slide it in this way first to accompany this corner right here and then push down on this end okay but she's on now y'all she is on there so let's Keep it moving, yo. As I was saying, she just on now. She ain't even screwed in, but she she married perfect. She married perfect. And you can still a witness with it. Pretty, pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty, pretty, pretty dope. Pretty dope, yo. Now let's see which one of these screws that come with go nice with it here's the tool yeah. drop these black screws on this black mat try to figure out which one is one of which all right let's look at this it'll be definitely easier to read the manual Again, I highly advise y'all to do so. Unfortunately, the screw 
the mounting screws that came with the CT Red Optic does not have or share the same thread pitch as the plate. I know there's a specific name for this plate, but it's basically the plate that comes with your Prodigy that you use for your Hex Dragonfly Optic, all right? So the thread on these are 648 or 6-48, number 6-48 thread, uh, machine screws or fine thread, not coarse thread. And you can clearly see this on. The Don't look at the knuckles. Although that looks pretty fine, it's, it's really not. It's still a little coarse. So it could be a seven or something. It's bigger than a six. Anyway, so if you run into this situation, you will have to get some. 6 dash 40 48 screws okay to be able to mount i'm taking whatever optic plate you're going to run now the screws that come with the optic plate are the right thread thread pitch but they are not long enough they do not have the right length so Y'all know we run Vortex on all our uh, mechanics and, of course, our dots. I mean, Glocks <laughs> with the red dots. We run the Venom. Okay. If you guys have, I guess, a Venom or another optic that might be in the same category, check it. You know, stop what you're doing. Check it and see if you got some spare screws because these are the spare screws that I, that I got out of that Venom. And although it seems as if it's not enough, it's more than enough because of the simple fact, you're trying to screw into this plate and that plate it's not that thick. Now I got a micrometer. I can measure it out for y'all, but you know, it ain't gonna give y'all no justice because if you're not gonna listen, you just gonna be a knucklehead. You're not gonna listen. But with all that being said, the solution that I'm going with is I'm gonna run these extra or these spare screws that I got from my Venom Optic and I'm going to run it with this CT. Red. I believe that, yeah, that's a big one, okay. Now I believe I might just need some blue Loctite. Just need some blue Loctite, y'all. Let's hope we got enough left. There we go, a little bit left. There we go. My extra two hands, arms. Quickly drop it. Don't stop it. Just like so. Grab the other. Grab the other screw. Now you don't have to take my word for these screws. I really hope y'all don't. So y'all have to wait a lot longer to go get your screws online or from wherever y'all gonna get it from. And I'll have more pleasure and time at the range because I don't have to wait in line for y'all to get done. So we just go snug it down. Go snug it down. 
A lot of people are like, oh, hold the optic. I mean, it's a footprint, dude. Like, it's got the little, it's, it's got, it's got the little dials that go underneath the optic to hold it still. It can't move no more than what it can do. But, uh, do what you gotta do. Do what you feel is best. And, uh, let's just keep it moving. And keep it safe. Keep it going. Enjoying. That sexy old thing of life. That sexy, sexy. Sexy. Horete. That co-witness is a mug, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you, man. That co-witness on there is colder than... It's colder, colder, colder. What's that thing called? Hot ice. It's colder than hot ice. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something. And I'm distracted because I just can't. I, I got to touch it, you know. But anyway, this is what I was looking for. It was in my face all along. Let's go ahead and unscrew the battery cover. Yes, I like this because it's plastic. That means my little rough self don't have to worry about scratching and scraping and you know I'm just speaking for myself now I know all y'all over there y'all too cute y'all got to you know y'all got it going on okay y'all do it real nice and cute you know I just handle business I do it what I do it what I does what I does when I do what I does when I do There it is. All right, everybody. So don't catch H E L L like I did. Stick your battery in there, push it down into those tabs in case this is your first time dealing with an optic. And then put your cap right on top of it. Simply screw it in. Take your time. Make sure it's going in straight evenly. Dope. That's all she wrote. All right, y'all. All right. All right, all right. We really appreciate y'all hanging in and staying in tune all this while. Look at that, y'all. Super sexy. Gee. Ooh, wee. Somebody give it a green light. There it is. There it is, y'all. There it is. Y'all see it? Yes. We are going green with this optic. Let me go ahead and get this out. And the reason we're going green with this optic is because of the simple fact. Man, look at that. That's sexy. Oh man, that's so sexy. I don't know, man. I believe between the Vortex, Venom, and this optic, yo, I turned it all the way down. That's all the way down. There it is. There it is. Y'all can see it. It's all the way down. It looked like it's already on the money. You see it? And that uh, having the co-witness on there is is super duper awesome, y'all. There it is. Oh yeah, I cannot wait to try this out. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Man, prodigy, let's go. All right, y'all. Here's our 2023 Springfield Prodigy DS. She is clear. Let's go ahead and leave her open. 
We got our CT Rad on there. Looking sweet. There it is. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. So we ended up using the Vortec Venom mounting screws to mount this onto the plate that came with the Springfield Prodigy for the Dragonfly. All right, the Hex Dragonfly. And uh, we got a few more things that we're going to do to this. We're not gonna do too much to it. We're not gonna go wild like we did with the Canic. The Canic is competition tool. This will be carry. You know what I mean? And I uh, can't wait to try out this, this new optic at the range. Man, it's pretty dope, y'all. It's pretty dope. Turn it all the way up. Perfect, man. Y'all see it? And it will cut off after eight hours on its own. That's what the auto shut off is all about. And it's pretty easy to turn it off. You just hold this button, this power button. Or shall I say the... You can really turn it off with either the plus or the minus button. You just hold it and it'll shut off. But uh, that's it, yo. We're in the Prodigy game. We're in the Prodigy business. 2023, you got it for under a G. I don't know what else to tell y'all. You ain't gotta believe me. With all that being said, y'all, y'all already know we really appreciate y'all support, tuning in, and hey, being part of the family, y'all. For real, for real. I really like this prodigy. I have no regrets yet. Hopefully, not ever, but if we do have issues with it, I'm gonna tell y'all like like for real for real don't tinker with it yourself send it to Springfield let them handle it you know what I mean for real for real utilize your warranty don't try to do it yourself and then mess up and then you can't get it fixed you know what I mean that's my piece again Prodigy to me is phenomenal. I believe it's going to be the best EDC for 2023. And again, yo, I, I like Staccato. Like, for real, they know that. And the competition, <laughs> they, 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 they strictly competition. You know what I mean? You can make this Prodigy a competition too. You just gonna have to work it up a little bit. Know what I mean? You know, Atlas, that's competition. Pretty much all your high high end tools at competition, yo. That's why they cost like that. And some of them, yeah, it's the aesthetics. But not like this though. That CT rag. Man, got this thing looking dope. But all right, y'all. So remember, you can do it too. On that note, y'all, don't forget to tap that like, share, subscribe. Peace.